summertime, baby. Skyline 6 Summer Vacation starts today. Hey everybody, it's Shukabo here, bringing you the very first episode of the Skyline 6 Summer Vacation miniseries. Joining me this summer is the Skyline 6 crew from City of Friends Discord and four special guest builders. A huge amount of creative energy and raw talent is in this lineup. The way it's going to work is the crew will start the first round of Summer Vacation, followed by the guests, and then a final round by the crew. Episodes will premiere every Sunday at 12.30 Eastern Time on the Builders channel, so make sure to subscribe to everyone. Our collab project will be built in the Coastal Gem map from Plazas and Promenades DLC. We're playing Unlimited Sandbox mode, which means we'll be using just a select few mods so we don't have to worry about money and demand. It's just going to be pure creativity unleashed, people, so hold on to your butts, because we're in for some major meow. For those who don't know me, my name is Mike, and my channel Shukaboa is named for my cat Shuka. I'm known around the Skylines community for creating the world-famous Meow method of detailing, and believe me when I tell you, there's going to be plenty of Meow in this city start. This video has been carefully edited with over 1,000 speed cuts to give you the smoothest Skyline experience you've ever had in your entire life. If you want to slow it down to study a technique, use the YouTube playback speed feature if you need to. This video has subtitles in several languages as well. Alright, let's make it happen. First, I'll start by unlocking our nine tiles. We decided together as a group that these will probably be the most interesting tiles in the map to build on. In the map editor, I've already extended the default train connection to reach the start tile, so now I'll make an underpass to get it onto the other side of the highway and into the build area. The highway in this map is going to cut through our project sites, so I'm going to move it out of the way and make interchanges all along it for easy access from anywhere that someone might want to build. Karumba, these new railroads of Japan fences ain't gonna help this American truck simulation right here. How about we make a hearty face interchange? It's so precious. Right here is a great spot for a trumpet interchange, but let's build it with some flavor. By adding that 120 degree junction, the interchange kind of looks like a snail now. You see it, right? Here I want a four-way service interchange, so I'll have a try at a compact dumbbell. This one kind of looks like a happy banana mantis alien, I think. And you know what? The more I think about it, this looks like a mermaid laying on the beach thinking about mermaid stuff. 
So now here is what I'm going to call the blank start map for Skyline 6 Summer Vacation. You can see that there are a ton of really awesome cliffs overlooking large sandy beaches, lots of little coves and points, a volcano, an island, this is going to be great. Check out all this texture along the waterfront, oh this is what I'm talking about. Over on this side we got these two lakes. I mean, this is a sweet map. It is pretty flat, but it's got a lot of flavor right along the edges. I'm all about it. If you want to get this starting map with my custom interchanges already built, check out the collection linked in the description with the mods. Just remember, I built this in-game, so you'll be paying upkeep on the new highways. Okay, now that we got that boring interchange stuff out of the way, we can get to work on actually starting this city. Over in this field, I think it's a good place tucked out of the way to put down our first power and water utilities. We do have game anarchy mod enabled, but we still need to have power and water and make sure everything is connected or else buildings will abandon. We'll place down some of this new airport apron and copy and paste it with move it. I caramba, I forgot I have move it mod now. Well, that's okay. The interchange work was a pleasure to do without the help from any mods, uh, but I will use Move It for things that Vanilla can't do, such as placing this power line inside of this building here. I think that makes it look a little bit more like it's part of the power plant now. You know, Move It will also help expedite some forest clearing, which is pretty handy. Not gonna lie. Let's get ready to plot down the central train station. So my primary goal in starting the city here is to create our city center and make sure it has robust public transportation networks with branches going in all directions from the start tile outward. Everything is going to have to pass through this one tile, and I want to make sure my collapsers are set up for success with whatever mode of transportation they want to incorporate. I won't explain too much about exactly what I'm doing for the next couple of minutes. I think the video speaks for itself. Just pay close attention to how I'm incorporating the world famous meow method of detailing into my design as we create a multifaceted backbone for our city.
Okay, now in order to extend the monorail, I'm gonna need to find a good natural harbor that I can civil engineer into a proper seaport. This little cove inside the rock is just a ticket. Now that we've got a really nice monorail cruise terminal with an integrated bus hub, let's make use of it. I'd also like to make preparations for ferries to come in and out of our harbor area. Since I have Find It mod, I can access this lighthouse asset, broken though its glass may be, and plop it as an aid to navigation at the harbor entrance. In addition to monorail and street access, let's add some cable cars on either side to help Sims get up and down the cliffs with ease. There, I think that's a good start for the harbor. Now, let's get back to work inland on creating a connection from our default stack interchange into the city, as well as setting up tram and trolleybus routes. I'm going to set up some pedestrian tram streets in a teardrop turnaround by the train station and start making the tram network. Over here, I'm going to bring this tram-only tunnel and create a little triangle. It isn't a triangle about, though, because each side permits two-way traffic. I just like it better than a T-junction, plus I can put that bamboo right in the middle. Alright, I've begun putting in our trolleybus network. I think this very nice bridge should go right over the ravine with the monorail track underneath. That'll be pretty cool. We'll bring the tram bridge over as well and have it cross the trolleybus tracks over here. Now with this little mountain I made in the jungle, let's put another tunnel with the trolleybus tracks going through to get to the other side. Okay, as we slowly step back from all of our work, we will see how this framework of transportation fits into our city center. 
By using the world-famous Meow method of detailing, we're able to fill in the areas with mixed zoning, density, and districts while leaving plenty of undeveloped area for nature. I'm gonna do one of my award-winning cinematic flyovers to some nice music, and right after, I'll discuss exactly what's going on here, so don't go anywhere, the best is yet to come. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes, the day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself, and I see you shining in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la 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 My God, I think I might be in love Get rid of all your sorrows In the summer city you never feel alone As long as you're with me Get rid of all your sorrows In the summer city There's no place on earth I hope y'all enjoyed that. I thought it was a nice song to start off our summer city. But now let's talk about what I actually did. I covered the build in this large pedestrian area and called it Meow Town. Using a park district, I named the seaport as Sandbox Harbor, and I left this large open park area over here called Have Fun City Park. Now, I didn't build anything inside of it because I want to leave it open in case anybody else would like to do something there. The same goes for this large open area. All of the other builders are invited to add some city blocks to the downtown as they'd like to help build up the population without worrying about adding density to their own projects if they don't want to. This city center is geographically between the two halves of the tiles, so the transport networks are there for anyone to pull from and use. For the moment, I've only utilized monorail and a single bus route. If we take a look at the mods quickly, you see that with demand controller, I'm able to keep the demand maxed out. Now, I do have the Acme camera mod to help me with getting some good angles, but the game anarchy here is doing a huge amount for this sandbox. You see here in the services tab that everything is checked. That means no pollution, no dead people, no garbage, maximum attractiveness, maximum entertainment, maximum land value, maximum education, maximum fire coverage, you name it, we got it. All these maxed out means that I can build anything I want anywhere, allowing completely uninhibited meow placement of growable buildings. And of course, move it. The mod I pride myself on not using in my 100% Villa Baby series, I did find it most useful for doing work with keys. 
while possible in vanilla. This really takes a long time and lots of terrain work. With Move It, I can make quick work of it in a click of a button. I placed several skyscrapers and a very few unique buildings, but I wanted to leave plenty for everyone, so I left it at that. Working in a collab of this magnitude is always a lot of effort to coordinate, but the payoff speaks for itself. I hope I've done a nice job to start our summer vacation. Don't forget to subscribe to everyone so you don't miss a single episode. Next week is Raid Kitty. Join us all on the City of Friends Discord server where we all chill together on the regular. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.